Okay guys, Bernardo for you here. I'm here for my Yuki Justin. Huge honor for me. Guys, I just finished shooting my uh, my latest instructional video. So Jiu-Jitsu for old guys, fundamentals game plan. Okay, so guys, I grow up, since I was purple belt, hearing that my Jiu-Jitsu was great for old guys. And then why that? And the reason of that is because when I'm on borrow, I'm playing halfway. Uh, like either the single leg half guard or knee shoots or deep half guard and when I'm on top I'm mostly passing the guard from the knees so it's either over under or over on the brother or a stack pass or a smash pass from half guard or folding pass things like that and even my submissions in jiu-jitsu like my submissions from side control my submissions from mounts my submissions from back attacks they're very conservative so most of the times I don't go for crazy submissions that if you fail you end up on bottom and then have to have your opponent attack you. Most of the times I go for, for submissions that even if I fail, I still want some very good position, okay? So in this instructional video here, I try to pretty much take all the subjects in Jiu-Jitsu and, and all my favorite moves and put them together for you in a sequence to make sure that if you are an older grappler, when I mean older grappler, I mean like, above master's division, so 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 plus, you know, like, I don't mean like 18, 20, 22, 23, I mean like master's division, you know, like, so if you are an older grappler, I try to create a roadmap for you, a game plan, that's exactly my game plan that I use in my entire career to win five world titles, and give that to you on a very digestible way. So Bernardo, what did you teach in the instruction? So we started standing, and then we saw my favorite take now, which is the double leg. And if the double leg fails, what should we do? And if you cannot finish the double leg, what should we do? So we would pull half guard on that scenario and we would end up on the best half guard I have, which is the single leg half guard or the deep half guard. Then we, we, we kept going with the bottom game, which was the guard game, which is the half guard. And then we saw the single leg half guard, deep half guard, the for you sweep, the Turkish get up. And then when you get the sweep, we always finish the sweep with the over under pass, which is my favorite guard passing. And then we saw, we saw how to pass the guard with the over under pass. And if the over under pass fails, what should we do? We should go to the over under brother or to the stack pass or to the half guard smashing. And then also we pass the guard, we end in the side control. So what should we do in side control? Then I explained the concept that most of the times we pass the guard with the over under pass, we make our opponent exhausted. So we should take that time that he's exhausted to apply the submissions that are my favorite submissions. So the scarf choke, the triangle, or go to the mount. And then when you get to the mount, what should we do? So there's a very obvious path on my program, on my system to go to the mount straight to the arm triangle. So we saw the arm triangle there. And then if we don't do the arm triangle, what should we do? We should climb up and do the arm bar from the climb up position. And then, then we talked as well about the scenario where I'm in the over under, my opponent defends the over under trying to turn on the knee, and I'm gonna use the single strap back take to take his back, which in my opinion is the easiest back take in Jiu Jitsu because it takes advantage of the lapel. And then, once we are on his back, how should I attack him? And then we saw that I can attack him with going towards this side with the cross collar choke, or going towards this side with the bow and arrow choke, or going towards this side, getting the mount, going to the head and arm, uh, arm and head and arm trap, head and arm choke again. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I really try to put the entire system, the entire program to you here on a very digestible way. And if for some reason you want to get, you want to go much deeper on any subject in this series, Jiu Jitsu for Old Guys, I have deeper videos on each subject. So for example, Bernard, I want to go much deeper on the guard passing. I do have the Jiu Jitsu for Old Guys pressure passing. Oh, I want to go much deeper on the half guard. I do have the Jiu Jitsu for Old Guys half guard and close guard game. So guys, this was the idea of this video. And if you see here in this overview that I'm talking about, one thing that I mentioned is that almost every move I have I have two or three options. And in my opinion, this is the secret of Jiu Jitsu. Like, in order for you to build any great game plan in Jiu Jitsu, you should always think about two or three options everywhere. So, Albert, I love the knee cut. 
Okay, what are your two or three options from the Nikon? No, I love the folding pass. What are your two or three options for the folding pass? So in this and in this instruction, I focus on my favorite ones, which are the, the great ones for the older grapplers, which is like over under, over and around, and that. But the concept can apply for every move. We should always have two or three options, and those options should be in different angles, which is something that I emphasize a lot in this instruction. Like almost every move we should do, we should have one option to this angle, one option to that angle, one option to that angle. So guys, this is the idea of the instructional. So I used my Yuki just for that. And it came out really, really good. I truly believe you guys will really enjoy this, especially if you are in the master's division, uh, 30 plus, 30, 40, 50 plus. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm gonna have a bunch of like little clips going on on my Instagram as well. So make sure to follow my Instagram and go to bgjfanatics.com by the time you, maybe by the time you're watching this video, the instruction is already there. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks so much. Os. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.